Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to test out the new Dior liquid lipsticks. There are about 12 shades, I believe, um, from what I have researched. And I have five of them in front of me right now. I have the satin, the matte, and one metal. So we're going to test those out today. We're going to see all about the formula. I'm going to like lip swatch them. So um, if my lips get a little red in this process, forgive me. Um, I'm really excited to test these out. I haven't heard much about them. I haven't seen any, re any reviews on them. I'm not sure when they came out exactly, but I know it was um, the beginning of the month. So if you'd like to see me swatch the new Dior liquid lipsticks, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have five of the shades right here. I have Delicate Satin, Miss Satin, Jungle Matte, Fury Matte, and Vibrant Metal. So I have all these right here, two satins, two mattes, and one of the metal ones. So I'm really excited to test these out for you guys. And I'm going to read you a little bit about um, these liquid, liquid lipsticks. That's a mouthful. Um, and tell you just kind of what they're about, how they're um, going to perform in the wear time. I will tell you that I did swatches on uh, my arm. And they didn't dry down completely to like a gross, crusty um, matte or satin or if, if you will. So I think that it's going to be a comfortable formula, but let's just test it out. Let's get started. I'm going to swatch five of them for you now and I hope you love it. So the first one we're going to do is 427 delicate satin. Um, this is rouge, Dior rouge liquid and lip liquid lip stain, extreme long wear, intense couture color. Really pretty packaging, of course. This is um, 427 if I didn't mention that before. And this is the package that they all come in. They look similar on the outside. You've got the Christian Dior logo on the top there. You can see the color right in the middle and then the shade is on the bottom. And this is a satin. So you get a really nice um, doe foot applicator. I'll do a close up of this so you can see it. It's really pretty. It has a nice well built into the doe foot. So you get plenty of color application um, and it's not messy. Like when you pull it out like this, it's not messy on the top. So um, I think it's gonna be a little too much when you apply it. Like it's gonna be too much um, product. So with the liquid lipstick, you know, make sure you have really nice hydrated base. Um, I powdered a little bit over my lips so it would have something to stick to. Okay, so I'm seeing 29, 30 shades on Sephora's website. Um, the place that I purchased them only had 12. So I have a good array of the nudes, which is what I'm most excited about. So we'll test out the nudes together. Um, five stars on Sephora's website and it's supposed to last up to 12 hours. So I'm not going to do a wear test because I never wear lipstick for 12 hours solid. Um, but it's a blend of mineral wax, ultra fine powders and oils to give strength to the color while delivering a perfect glide over the lips and long wearing result as a was reservoir applicator that takes up and deposits just the right amount of product. Its fine tip is the perfect tool for outlining the lips with precision. All three finishes, matte, metal, and satin, deliver intense long wear color. So it says the new trend is exemplified by 614 Jungle Matte. So I have that one here. Like an ode to Mitza Bricard, who is Christian Dior's muse and inspired by the jungle. So, and then 162, which is this one right here. Um, which we're going to swatch, is the delicateness of Miss Your Pink is incarnated in 162 mix, Miss Satin to give to give women a resplendent plendent smile. So, those are kind of like their signature colors in this. Now, let's get to swatching. Okay, so I've got my mirror right here. And I'm just going to start swatching. And I got my hair cut. I got like four inches cut off my hair. It feels so much better. I'm so excited to have a haircut. Okay, so let's get to swatching. This is the 427 Delicate Satin um, Lip Rouge by Dior. And I'm going to take just a little bit of excess off of this applicator. This is sort of like a rosy nude. 
and it has the typical Dior scent. And it can get very precise with this tip, so I love that. I don't have any lip liner on. Okay, so that is, what is this called? Delicate Satin. This is beautiful. This shade is the perfect, your lips but better, liquid lipstick. It is so comfortable. It is like velvety, but not thick. And you can tell it's not gonna like dry out your lips and make them feel gross like most liquid lipsticks do for me. It's just sitting very pretty. It's not filling in any of my lines. It's not accentuating the lines on my lips because I have very liney lips. And I don't even feel like I need a lip liner, which I always wear lip liner. So I am loving this. And I'm going to get a close-up for you guys, too. So you'll be able to see this lip shade. But so far, so good. This might be my favorite shade. First one off the bat, um, just a beautiful, rosy nude that is... For my skin tone, probably going to be my favorite. So I'm giving it a second to kind of dry down and it's basically feels the same. Still velvety, but I feel like this would last all day long and I wouldn't have to reapply. I feel like a little bit might get on to, yeah, a little bit gets on my hand, but that's okay because that means that it's not so drying that my lips are gonna be crusty by the end of the day. So um, I'm loving this, I think it's beautiful. I think this formula of this satin feels incredible. Um, and it definitely is probably my favorite. Um, well, we're not gonna jump the gun, but I think this color might be my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off and we're gonna go to the next satin color that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Chloron um, makeup remover because it is my absolute favorite and just my up and up by target cotton rounds and we'll see how easy these come off yep came right off so that's good I'm sure if you had it on all day, you would probably have a little bit of a stain, but just for that little bit, it came off great. Next, we are going to do uh, 162 Miss Satin. This is the satin formula again. And this is more of a peachy pink color. It has a little bit of a sheen. The other one didn't have any sheen. I feel like this one is a little bit sheer than the other one. Yeah, definitely has a sheen to it. So, this one I can still see like my lip color peeking through. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer um, so you can see better. Okay, I think you can see a little bit better like that. Okay, so this is this shade and it is 162 Miss Satin. So this is gonna be um, like the Miss Dior shade. They're pretty, pretty pink. I'm gonna go in for a second layer and see if it's buildable. Okay, so that's it right there. I think for me, this would have to be something I would wear in the spring or the summer because um, it's a little bit too like bubblegummy pink for me unless I deepened it up with like Stripped Down by MAC um, or some kind of lip liner that was a little more brown that just added some depth and dimension to it. 
but again it feels wonderful it's that beautiful satin finish and it feels very velvety comfortable on the lip so I will say when I added the second layer I'm getting kind of that balling like goopy right here so I would stick with just one layer of these um, liquid lipsticks but feels great I'm just going to remove this one and we will move on to the next three okay so that one removed really nice next is a matte and this is jungle matte and I've already swatched this one I can tell you this is not the shade for me but maybe for some of you it is this is more of like a brown nude uh, 614 jungle matte so let's just apply this one So that is Jungle Matte. Um, it is not my favorite color on me, but on someone with a, like a lighter skin tone, I think it would be beautiful. But because I have so much warmth in my skin already, I think that this is probably not going to be the shade for me. But I did want to test out um, the matte formula, so I got all the nudes that I could. This feels just a little bit less velvety than the satin so um and it has like it you can just tell it's a little bit flatter of a formula that's because it's a matte um but still very comfortable something that if you applied a balm underneath and your lips were super hydrated and you needed something that was going to last all day long, this is the shade or the type for you. Um, so that is Jungle Matte. And um, it's not terrible, I don't think, on me. And I think I could pull it off if I had, like, lashes on and, like, the full shebang. But I've been running errands all day. So I kind of have um, older makeup on. And I think that... I would need like a fresh face and lots of lashes to make this work. So I think um, this would be beautiful on someone else. But for me, an everyday shade, I wouldn't invest my money in this shade. I would definitely go for the first one that we tried on. Okay, so Jungle Matte is going away. Get a good look at it. Uh, we have two left, another matte and another metal. You don't want to miss the metal, so just hang tight. We're going to get there. Let's see how easy or how hard the mat comes off. Comes off super easy. Let's do Furry Fury Mat. Fury Mat 265. And this is a um, true rose pink. So this is 265 Fury Mat. Very rosy, very pink, very bright, great summer shade. This would be beautiful with um, Whirl to give it some dimension. It's coming off a lot brighter on the lip than it is in here, which is typical. But I will say these are not patchy at all. All. one swipe and it's perfect so this is fury matte and I think that this is really pretty I think that this is one of those that if you wanted to do like a glossy lid no mascara throw on some bronzer concealer under the eye and pop this on as a statement lip this is gonna be your go-to feels great a little less uh, velvety than the satin but I think this shade is gorgeous. I, I actually like it even though it's brighter. It gives a little bit of life to the lips. Um, I don't feel like I need a lip liner with this one. But if I were going to pair it with a lip liner, I would do Whirl to give it just a little bit of dimension. Um, and I think this is wonderful. Feels great. Not settling into my lines. So that is a big thumbs up for me. We have one more. And I am so excited because this is a true rose gold shade you don't want to miss it so let's jump right into this um, metallic Dior liquid lipstick 
and they're calling these the metal. So let's swipe this jungle fury mat, whatever it's called, off of my lips before it stains it. I feel like those pink shades really stain the lips quick. You definitely are going to need a makeup remover to get these suckers off. Yeah, this one's the hardest one by far to get off. Okay, a little stained, not bad, not too bad. Okay, so the metal. This is 334 Vibrant Metal. I can't wait to try this on. This is so out of my comfort zone, but I think it's going to be beautiful as like a topper. So it's a beautiful rose gold. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? This is not something I would wear every day. But I think just for like a fun night out, who doesn't love rose gold? With like a beautiful brown smoky eye. I can't see really in the viewfinder, but like in person, it is stunning. Now, this is something that I would take on top of this um, Fury mat and put in the center and just kind of dab it around to give that um, matte color a little bit of definition, a little bit of life back into it. So the, let's do that right now. So this is, um, what was this one called? Vibrant Metal, the rose gold. And let's do Oh, that one's not coming off good. <laughs> My lips are going to be raw. Okay. I'm going to do the Fury Matte. I mean, not patchy in the least bit. Fury Matte, back on. Now let's see what it looks like when we take that vibrant metal in the center. So that just gives a really beautiful like life back to that um, matte shade. I hope that's coming off on camera like it is in person. It's just adding just like the the dimension back into the middle of your lip where that, that matte can make it very flat. <laughs> um, and I just think it's gorgeous. I think that's really pretty. What do you guys think? Do you like these shades? What's your favorite one on me? You have to let me know. Put it down in the comments. So I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed seeing all the shades or the nude shades that I could get a hold of on me um, and what they look like on my skin tone and with my hair. And hopefully it's helpful for you at home um, to be able to see these. And I still have that kiss mark on my hand um, to be able to see them and just kind of decide which ones you want to get. So if you want to see more pictures of the product like up close, just head on over to my blog. I'll have um, all the shades to watch there in natural light. You can see those a little bit better just like on my bare arm. And yeah, if you like swatch videos, give this one a big thumbs up. I don't know if you like these videos. If you don't, thumbs them up. So be sure to give it a thumbs up. It'll let me know that you like this type of video and I will continue to do these types of videos for you. And yeah, um, leave me your comments. Let me know what your favorite shade was on me down in the description bar and hopefully I can get some more of the shades and swatch them, um, I don't know, on Instagram or something like that. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and I'll keep you guys updated. I love these so much. I think the formula is beautiful. My favorite is probably the satin. Um, and the first one that we tried, which was Delicate Satin. This kind of like brown, nope, that's Jungle Matte. Yeah. This one right here. Delicate Satin. Um, this one's probably my favorite. I'm just going to layer these bad boys up right here. Just because it's like what I'm comfortable in. And... It has just a little teensy bit of a sheen to it, so it's not so flat. Um, and looks more like you have on a lipstick versus like a matte 
liquid lip, which can just leave you kind of like lit, kind of dull and gross, um, unless you have, you know, lip liner on and stuff like that, or top it in the center with, um, with one of these metals. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by, watching this video, hanging out with me. I love filming for you guys. You guys are, you guys are the best. You're the best. I love all of your comments. Be sure to leave me what your favorite was down below, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.